Hey guys, it is Wednesday once again, and the topic for this week is books that make you think things. Deep, deep things. Things that are important about life and the universe and fish. Everything. First on our list is The Road by Cormac McCarthy. Now, this book, it made me value a lot of things, I think, because that book made me so sad. <laughs> Like, it was so depressing, and from the very beginning of the book, you realize that there's no way there's going to be a good outcome in this story. Like, the world is over, it's miserable, it's cold, there's not enough food, people are cannibals, and you're just following this father and son as they try to go south, hoping that, you know, they'll be able to survive there. And just so many things that you take for granted in your day-to-day -day lives, you, you notice. And when I finished this book, I just kind of needed to walk outside, and it was... A beautiful summer day, and the birds were chirping, and the wind was blowing through the trees, and the grass was just so beautiful. That was one that stayed with me for a very long time. Next on our list is a book of mine that I read at the university called The Last Miracle of Little No Horse. And this was kind of a book from the native perspective, but there was a whole bunch going on in it where there was this woman, she was trying to kind of like escape her life so she ends up masquerading as a male priest on this this native reserve and it was just kind of a book that made you really think about kind of the roles you take in life and how kind of one path might not be the right path for most people but it's the one that gets you where you want to go and makes you happy and so that was one that really really made me think and always kind of stuck with me just because it was so pretty and just so thought-provoking. The third book on our list is 1984 by George Orwell, and holy crap, this book terrified me. <laughs> this is a totalitarian, dystopia society where everyone is being constantly watched. The whole big brother is always watching you. Dystopia are so common these days. The thing that wrecked me is this constant rewriting of history. The main character works to rewrite history, and so stuff will come in, and he'll be told, okay, this is what happened instead. And so they're constantly rewriting history, constantly destroying the previous history, and the moment that it's rewrited, that is what has happened. And there's no records to disclaim this. And that just blew my mind, because history only exists in your memory, and it can be changed. And that was just like, <laughs> whoa! <laughs> That messed with me and still messes with me, and that was probably one of the most terrifying things that I've ever read. <laughs> Ugh. If you haven't read it, I highly suggest you go read it. It's amazing. Next on our list is His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman, and you might have seen the movie that was really good and there was never a sequel. But if you have actually read the books, this goes into tons of philosophy about the nature of the universe and kind of how we think about religion. And giant spoilers <laughs> here. Um, basically what happens in this book is there was this one angel who kind of appeared before everyone else and when everybody else kind of came into being, he was like, hey, I created you all, you know, I am God. And people were like, oh, God, yay. And it, he didn't create anyone. And that just kind of blew my mind as a kid. Be like, w w that is the most twisted thing I've ever heard. Just holy crap. And that just kind of opened my mind to kind of just all these different mythologies and this way about thinking about religion, which was always kind of static in my mind before that point. So that was just a book that just really got to me. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Last on our list is World War Z. And if you haven't read World War Z and you've seen the movie, Go read World War Z, because they're, they're nothing alike. It is kind of a socio-political look at what would happen to life if the zombie apocalypse actually happened. And what was so mind-blowing about this book was it was kind of written like as like a true account of this one person who's now like writing down history so that people have it and know what life was like during the zombie apocalypse. And it just blew my mind because it was so detailed and so thought-provoking about how we would probably react to this problem and these situations that people would probably find themselves in. There was this one story that I think made me think the most, and it was about everyone who went north. They ran away and went north, and they're all hiding out this trailer park, and like, first couple of months, great, it's a big party, ha ha ha. But then the food starts running out, and 
the main character is this young girl and she one night she hears her parents talking and she's dying she's starving to death and the next day there's food and she doesn't know where the food comes from and then you start thinking you know where that food comes from you know what she's eating is she any better than those monsters? <laughs> I was just like, wow. <laughs> and then there's this one story about them using dogs to kind of like combat the zombies and how people would be like training their, these dogs and get attacked. And when, when these dogs would like go, it would just like break their brains and just destroy them as people because they become just so attached to these creatures that are you now being used to fight the zombies. And then... Another one that kind of stuck with me was how when the zombie apocalypse first happens, people are like trying to shoot them like you would in a movie and they're trying to bring them down with bullets, but that doesn't really work because, you know, you're, you're just kind of like hitting them in the arm and it does nothing, right? All our modern equipment is just absolutely useless against the zombie, this zombie horde that needs to be like shot in the head to actually die. I thought that was really, really interesting. So... That is our list of books that actually really made us think. And I kind of want to go back and read them all now. Um, whoops. Anyways, um, give us some books that made you think. Are any of ours on your list? Or if not, yeah, tell us I'll yours. Tell us in the comments. Bye, guys.